Man visited the graveyard. When he saw this woman's photo, he called 911. In the quiet town of Boston, a chilling tragedy unfolded one fateful evening that would forever alter the lives of its residents. The sun dipped below the horizon, casting long shadows over the graveyard, where Octavio Gomez found himself standing, lost in thought. He'd come to pay respects to a friend, but his attention was drawn to a photograph affixed to a nearby tombstone, a woman named Amanda. Her smile was radiant, yet the sorrowful aura surrounding her grave hinted a story of heartbreak and loss. As he gazed at Amanda's photo, Memories flooded back. He recalled the whispers in town about the tragic car accident that had claimed her life and that of her two young sons, Tom and Jim. The accident had occurred just a few months prior, leaving the community in shock and mourning. On a rainy night in late August, Amanda was driving home from a family gathering. Her two boys nestled safely in their car seats. They'd been laughing and playing games in the back seat, blissfully unaware of the impending disaster. As Amanda approached an intersection, another vehicle barreled through a red light, colliding with her car at high speed. The impact was catastrophic. Amanda's car spun violently before coming to rest again at a lamppost. Emergency responders arrived within minutes, but it was too late. Amanda and her boys were pronounced dead at the scene. The news spread like wildfire through Boston, leaving families shattered and questioning how such a tragedy could occur. In the wake of the accident, Octavio learned that Amanda's husband, Fernando, had been absent that night. He'd chosen to stay with his girlfriend, Clara, instead of being with his family. This decision would haunt him forever as whispers of betrayal filled the air. Friends and family struggled to comprehend how a man could abandon his wife and children in their time of need. Octavio felt a mixture of anger and pity for Fernando. He'd known him as a decent man who had succumbed to temptation and poor choices. The community rallied around Amanda's family, organizing memorials and fundraisers to support those left behind. Her parents, who now faced the unimaginable task of burying their daughter and grandchildren. Standing by Amanda's grave, Octavio felt a surge of emotion, he pulled out his phone and dialed 911, not because he needed help, but because he wanted to ensure that Amanda's story would not be forgotten. He wanted justice for her and her boys. 911, what's your emergency? came the operator's voice. I'm at Forest Hill Cemetery, Octavio replied, his voice trembling. I need to report a tragic accident involving Amanda Gomez and her two children. The operator listened intently as Octavio recounted what he knew. The reckless driver who had caused the crash was still free, living life as if nothing had happened while Amanda's family mourned their loss. Days turned into weeks as investigators pieced together the events leading up to the accident. They discovered that the driver responsible for the collision had been under the influence of alcohol and drugs, an egregious act that would lead to multiple charges against him. The community demanded accountability. They wanted to ensure that such negligence would not go unpunished. Octavio became an advocate for stricter laws surrounding impaired driving. He attended town hall meetings, spoke with local leaders, and even organized rallies to raise awareness about road safety. His passion ignited a fire within others who shared similar sentiments. They were tired of watching lives being destroyed by reckless behavior. As time passed, Boston began to heal from this tragedy. Memorials were erected in honor of Amanda and her sons, a reminder of their lives cut short, but also an emblem of hope for change. Octavio often visited these sites, reflecting on how far they had come as a community united against such senseless loss. Fernando's life took a different turn after the accident. Overwhelmed by guilt and shame for having chosen Clara over his family, he became a recluse. The whispers grew louder. Some called him a coward, while others expressed sympathy for his plight. Yet deep down, he knew he could never escape the reality of what he had done, or rather what he hadn't done. Clara eventually left him. She could not bear the weight of his grief or his haunting memories. 
Fernando found himself alone in their once shared home, filled with echoes of laughter that now felt like distant ghosts. Months later, as the trial against the driver approached, Octavio stood outside the courthouse alongside other grieving families. They held signs demanding justice for Amanda and her children, a powerful visual reminder that they would not let their memory fade into obscurity. Inside the courtroom, emotions ran high as testimonies unfolded. Witnesses recounted that fateful night, their accounts painting a vivid picture of chaos and despair. The driver's defense team tried to shift blame onto Amanda for being in the wrong place at the wrong time, but it fell flat against overwhelming evidence of his negligence. When the verdict was finally read, guilty on all accounts, a wave of relief washed over Octavio and those gathered outside. It was not just justice for Amanda, but for every victim affected by reckless driving. Years later, as Octavio stood before Amanda's grave once more, he felt an overwhelming sense of purpose. Though tragedy had struck Boston hard that night, it also sparked change. Laws were enacted to protect families on the road, ensuring that no one else would suffer such devastating loss. He placed flowers at her grave and whispered promises. Your story will be told. Your legacy will live on. In that moment, he knew he would continue fighting, not just for Amanda, but for every family impacted by similar tragedies, ensuring their voices were heard long after they were gone. And so it was that Boston, a town marked by heartache, hope emerged from despair through unity and resilience against all odds.